This is Astro World. that I associate with music is transformation. Any form of music will affect a shift in awareness, emotion, physiology, and vibration. It's the vibratory nature of music that fascinates me. In today's world, we have the facility to instantly select the vibration that we wish to move toward and embody. Comfort, Stimulation, release, upliftment, inspiration, wherever we want to go. We can select the soundtrack for the movie that we're in. One of the aspects of transformation that space music has to offer is in its more sustained sounds and reverberant ambience. When you hold a note on the piano, for instance, the brain has time to reflect. So the longer tones and longer reverb times create a space for reflection and integration. I was classically trained on piano and woodwinds and began exploring space music as a teenager before it was even called space music. And really before that, I was influenced by the Catholic High Latin Mass in a large church. That was my first exposure, I suppose. Anyway, as a teenager, I used to put a brick on the piano pedal while I played my saxophone into the piano. The sympathetic vibrations of the strings would create a reverberant space much larger than the small practice room I was in. I began to create my own form of space music then, but I didn't think anyone would be interested in that sort of thing. When Terry Riley's Rainbow and Curved Air came out, and more specifically, Poppy No Good and the Phantom Band, I went, wow, this is great. And I realized that I wasn't the only one interested in this form of music. So space music became one of the forms of my own interdimensional travel agency. Making music for me is a spiritual and transformational practice and something I'm honored to offer as a contribution toward an expansion and upliftment of the human spirit. (laughs) 